here's where we're at. It is day four of my visit to the ship. I have so, so loved getting to be here, getting to reconnect with old friends and meet new friends. It's also been really cool how many Mercy Shippers I've been reconnecting with that I haven't seen since like the Anastasis days or like when I was a really little kid. Um, it's again, like I was saying in my last vlog, it's a very, very small world um, once you get into Mercy Ships. So that's been really cool. And I've also really enjoyed getting to know people here who have watched my vlogs and have commented and I have known them through corresponding with them on YouTube um, and now I get to meet them in person. So that's been really cool. Um, and so my goal, as I was also saying in my last video, is to make videos that are answering the comments and questions that I've um, found in my YouTube comment section. Um, and so I'm going to start making a video or several videos, possibly we'll see how it turns out, where I profile different jobs. I should also make a quick note here that some people had requested for like patient stories or seeing the hospital um, and I won't be able to do that. Last time I was in Cameroon, I had the special privilege of having a month where I had a media pass where I could film like everything in the wards and in the hospital. Um, and I don't have that here. So I won't be able to film while I'm in the hospital for patient conf confidentiality reasons, but I can definitely um, meet and talk to nurses and doctors. And I will be going down probably, hopefully every night and hanging out with the patients down in the ward like I used to. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, so I will hopefully have some stories I can share on these videos, but I'm not gonna be filming down there um, unless I get special permission. And for now, I'm actually going down to deck four to meet my friend Lara for tea. Lara and I went through high school together here um, in the Mercy Ships Academy. We graduated together in a lovely class of three people. Um, and now she works on the ship with her husband, Chell. Um, and they met on the ship also, another Mercy Ships couple, it's the best. And she is a media liaison here on the ship. And so maybe once we go down, she can share a little bit about what she does. Uh, I'm bombarding her. She doesn't know I'm, I'm gonna bring this camera down, but you know, she's very articulate and a wonderful person. So she'll do great. So I'm going to grab my sweater because also note to anyone who's coming to the ship in the next couple months or ever, it is a lot colder than I remember it being right now. Um, not only on the ship, but in Senegal, like at night, it was like 65, 70 degrees, which, okay, isn't cold. But like, if you're used to it always being like 80s and 90s here, it's chilly and the wind is chilly. So bring maybe two sweaters. So I'm gonna grab that and head down to deck four. And as a reminder, deck four is mainly where singles and couples live. And deck five and deck six are where families tend to live. So let's head down. I'm already filming. It's too late. <laughs> Everyone, this is Lara. Hi. She is one of the two people in my graduating class, and she's gonna show us her couple's cabin. Would you like to show us around on this extensive tour? <laughs> this is the one room extravaganza. <laughs> wow. You your kitchen, your uh, TV room. Uh, oh. Closet, walk-in closet. <laughs> And you have, oh, you got the curtain though. That's yeah, like two curtain, rooms. So we can make two rooms technically. This is oh. where, you know. That's, what's storage like? Do you have any storage? Do we have storage? Storage, yeah. Yeah, we have some storage under the bed. So we've got like drawers under oh, here. Oh, I didn't know that. There's about the two on each side. And then you can also kind of lift up the bed. And uh, then there's like extra storage space or suitcases and stuff. That's nice. And then you even have, the couples even can have a fridge. Yes, we have a fridge, and I know they're trying to get fridges in all the cabins, so. Wow. Um, and then we got like a little handy dandy table here. Do you ever eat here? Yes, we do. We eat every <laughs> lunch in here because the dining room is very loud at lunchtime. Um, and then we'll eat dinner upstairs. And we eat breakfast in here because child and I are not morning people. So, Respect. and then we bought this because we think it's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very <laughs> My first question for you, I only have 27. And the first question is, uh, what is your job on the ship? Yeah, so my job is media liaison. So I work in the communications department. Mm -hmm. So that means that I host uh, vision trips and media teams. And so they kind of fall under two categories, um, which is like 
large donors, major partners, corporate sponsors, um, and we host them on board for a week uh, and show them everything that we do. So we take them to the dental clinic, to the eye clinic, we take them down to the hospital, All in the, the engine room, bridge, show them everything. And then media teams, again, finding out what they need, what kind of footage, and then facilitating that. So. Okay, cool. That was like a really good summary of it because I, whenever people ask me what media, media liaisons are, I'm like, they do really important stuff. Like, they're the reason that we have like funding and everything. But yeah. that's that was that was good. Good yeah. notes. Yeah. And second question is for everyone here. What they've been asking is yeah. what, or at least I've had some questions on what life is like for younger people, particularly. And I think mm -hmm. it's interesting because you were in high school here and then came back as a married couple. Mm -hmm. And so, how have you liked? Be well, first you should tell them the lovely world about your husband and then how you've liked being on the ship as a couple, mm -hmm. a young couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so my husband works in engineering. He's one of our fourth engineers. He's Shout awesome. Mm -hmm. He's got a big old beard, looks like a Viking. <laughs> He's great. Um, and yeah, we met while I was in high school and he was down in the engine room as a cadet and uh, the love blossomed. Just and um, I was there. When, <laughs> when we met and we started dating, we talked about where we were gonna go and uh, like our future plans and stuff. And I kind of said, I'm going to the ship, where are you going? And he said, to the ship. And I was like, great, we can like do this thing. Um, and so <laughs> uh, we kind of went away and like built up a sport base and then came back to the ship and I've really just loved it ever since. Um, being able to work alongside people that are focused on like making the world a better place mm -hmm. and partnering alongside people and uh, raising up a community of like people focused after Christ and all that stuff. So yeah, we uh, are involved in the youth program here on board and that's yes. super life giving and um, just yeah, doing life with other people that yeah you know same mind and mm -hmm. do you feel like it's been hard to say goodbye to people over and over because that's another thing people ask about is like what is community like what are friends like what people are leaving all the time mm -hmm. i think that's a constant challenge and it's talked about almost every week here on board <laughs> 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 is like that that fine line between um really investing in people that you know are going to leave and also like guarding yourself mm -hmm. um but you get out of this life what you put into it and so investing in people hearing their stories finding out about their challenges like walking alongside them you're only going to improve from that or yeah, really absolutely. live life and there's this whole like this might be too deep for your blood um <laughs> but there is also Sorry. this whole um like we find God through relationships too mm. and God is love and God is all these things and how do we find him is also through other people mm. um, and that whole Ubuntu concept as I well. I just read the book Ubuntu. Mm. Oh yeah. Gosh, yes. So I think that's the pressure and the challenge is to continue to challenge yourself to get to know people. Yeah. Um, even when, when you face loss because it's like they're so worth it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah it's actually a very selfless approach because you're like not just looking at what do you get out of it. Mm -hmm. You're like if I get to know you and I get to hopefully make you feel welcomed and wanted even if you're not here as long as me or whatever like that's important <laughs> so yeah oh. it's not always easy and that's the challenge of it but I yeah don't know. people are great well this has been i don't know why i'm starting a segment now this has been la la laughing with better than crying with cares <laughs> oh, when you did Karis's corner yeah. they were like larry you need to come up with something what? else and i was like <laughs> Lars <laughs> like room. <laughs> I, like, I, I, I think we came up with Lars log, but I was like, <laughs> stupid. Lars <laughs> log. Literally, we were brainstorming for weeks. <laughs> the oh. best we could come up with Lars log. This has been Lars log. And carries his corner. <laughs>